Well, let's uh, get chatting about the auto space. Our first guest on the show, in fact, we have uh, two of them for you. We have Atul Auto. The company reported a strong uh, uh, jump in auto sales for the month of February, of course, on a low base as well. It was up around 55.5%. We have Jitendra Adya, who's the president of finance of the company. Also with us is auto analyst Mithul Shah, who's the head of research at Reliance Securities, joining in. Both of them, of course, will give their thoughts on uh, the monthly sales numbers so far. So, Atul and Mithul, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, for joining in. We'll, we'll go to Mr. Adia first. Uh, you know, your Feb sales have been almost, what, 2,125 uh, units, 2,125 units. Year to date, your sales are 23, uh, closer to 22,400 units. Pre-COVID, you would do 50,000 units. So, now that things are, you know, normalizing, we're looking at FY24, can you give us a couple of numbers? What are you likely to end this year with in terms of uh, sales units? And the next year, what are you targeting? Uh, very good morning to you and thank you for inviting me on this show. Uh, uh, first, uh, about the numbers, what we delivered uh, till February in the current fiscal. I expect that uh, we will be able to keep on uh, delivering you know, positive numbers uh, month over month, uh, this month onwards. Uh, we see at the end of the tunnel and we expect that uh, there will be a recovery and we will be able to definitely go back to pre-COVID level very soon. Mm. Difficult to tell you uh, how and when, but mostly, uh, you know, the first quarter is always remain uh, lead. Mm. Uh, let us see. We, would, we expect that uh, some good recovery will start coming up uh, from April, but uh, uh, steep numbers will be from uh, July, August onwards. All right. Uh, hi, Ms. Adya. Thanks so much for joining in. But try to give us an, at least an outlook for FI24. How is demand on the ground? See, so you're on to three-wheelers, so you get a sense about rural India as well. Is demand strong yeah. enough uh, as, as we speak? And can you end FI24 closer to around that 50,000-odd mark that Manglam was just talking about? We, we we expect that rural demand may take some more time. There is a spark, no to thought about it, but uh, I would like to definitely uh, wait for some more time and uh, then uh, give our, uh, uh, you know, observations about it. Uh, meanwhile, yes, uh, rural India is mostly on diesel. Diesel overall, uh, you know, uh, is passing through a uh, lot many changes uh, under Amazon norms as well as we expect that OBG2 is likely to be there from April onwards. So we we would like to wait and then uh, definitely we will uh, able to reveal the numbers. Meanwhile, yes, uh, semi-urban and uh, urban part, uh, we, we saw the strong recovery with electric vehicles as well as alternate fuel three-wheelers. All right. From uh, a lot of point of view, we, we expect that uh, definitely we will be able to improve upon our uh, export. Give us a number, sir. sir. Give us a number, sir. Uh, numbers is difficult to tell you as of now. All right. Uh, just hang in there, sir. Uh, Mithul, as well as Mr. Adia, we'll just come back to you in a moment. We are getting some news from the Supreme Court, and this is with regards to the Adani Hindenburg case. Uh, the Supreme Court order says that SEBI has stated that it is already inquiring into the Hindenburg report allegations to identify potential violations. And uh, the Supreme Court itself has formed a committee which comprises of O.P. Bhatt, there's K.V. Kamat, Nandan Nilakani and Somasekhar Sundaresan, who of course is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, headed Justice Sapre as well as uh, the retired judge of Supreme Court. SEBI investigation agencies shall support the expert panel. So these are the three lines that we have right now with regards to the Supreme Court order. We'll try and get more details on this, some reactions and also a word from our correspondent Ashmit on the same. So. That's uh, what's transpiring in the Supreme Court right now. Uh, the street is awaiting more details uh, on this too. But let's move back to our conversation. Uh, Mithul, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Adia was speaking about some spark in rural demand. Uh, from the numbers that have come by so far, we've seen a jump in two-wheeler sales. Do you think that's sustainable? And of the num all the numbers that have come, uh, which have been the ones that you've liked the most? Two-wheeler numbers uh, in domestic market improvement uh, we have seen in, on YOI as well as month-on-month -month basis. That is primarily due to very low base. Though recovery is much uh, slower, there is an improvement, but compared to pre-COVID level, it is much lower. So what Mr. Adya is saying is right, that rural is still not recovering. And whatever improvement for two-wheeler we have seen is on a lower base. So we may see similar growth in coming months. But that is primarily because of the low base. However, it should be much higher growth 
the way it is visible in case of MHCV. The CV segment seems to be most promising right now. Truck segment growing in the range of 20-30% in last 2-3 months and full year probably will end with more than 40% growth. Buses segment naturally with again low base is growing by more than 100%. Mm. So that segment should continue growing in a healthy double digit numbers. Okay, all right. Just hold on to that thought, Mithul. By the way, we have uh, some uh, you know news coming. The Supreme Court has directed SEBI to probe Adani. They say that SEBI must probe of all these violations of the Securities Act. They're also saying that SEBI must prove whether there was, there's been any failure to disclose related party transactions. So some of those flashes should come up for you. But that's, uh, uh, you know, the status as of now. In fact, Ashmit will join us and he'll give us a quick update in terms of what he has picked up on this particular case. So for the time being, the Adani Group stocks, they were higher. They've come off a little bit from the top. The Supreme Court has directed SEBI to probe Adani Group further from here on. That's the headline that's coming in there. And Ashmit will uh, give us further details on that front. Uh, well, uh, we'll just try to squeeze in a couple of, uh, uh, you know, uh, questions to um, our guests who are still with us. Uh, Mithul, uh, you know, the tractor space has been looking up for the last few years. So before we let you all go, just wanted to understand what's the outlook from year on? We have this problem about the monsoons. History is against us because El Nino, there's various talks about that. And also, are tractor sales peaking out? Your view. The tractor since last few months is giving consistently positive surprise in terms of 20-25-30% kind of a growth. So on the one hand, we are saying about rural is slowing down, agri is also facing some problem, but still numbers are growing. So which clearly indicates that there is known agri usage of tractor is increasing and commercial part of the tractor segment is driving the growth which is also visible in the MHCV segment, which is also picking up because of the better infra activities. So that is helping. Yeah. But of course, this El Nino and yeah. monsoon situation is very important. So going forward, April onwards, we need to monitor this monsoon prediction as well as El Nino. Otherwise, it may not be turn out to be very great year for tractor industry in FY24. Mithul, thank you so much for joining in and giving us that perspective. Before we connect with uh, Ashmit, Ashmit's uh, just about to join us. We have about 30 seconds, Mr. Adia. Uh, until then, if you could give us, uh, you know, uh, a couple of details about your company itself. You had capacity of what, 1,20,000 units, uh, including both Rajkot and Ahmedabad. What are you targeting in terms of exports next year? See, now Atulato is ready with a complete range of product. We have uh, product on 0.5 as well as 0.35 ton platform. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, multi-fuel choice, that is diesel, alternate fuel, electric, in electric, we got L3, L5. We have capacity in place, uh, 120,000 units, both plants put together and having, uh, you know, variety of variants and uh, applications available in product range. Obviously, uh, the entire export is catered by uh, gasoline, that is uh, petrol uh, three wheelers. We have seeded few numbers in the current fiscal and we expect uh, that uh, with a positive response from all across, we will be able to uh, definitely deliver a better volume for export in a time to come. All right, uh, Mr. Adia. Uh paucity of time so and obviously influx of a fair amount of uh, news flow that is coming in so we'll uh, uh, you know end this conversation here Mithul uh, and uh, Mr. Radia thank you so much for joining us uh, giving us all those details but the shift uh, uh, focus definitely shifts uh, to what's taking place in the Supreme Court right now the Supreme Court has formed a committee headed by Justice Sapre uh, who's a retired judge of the Supreme Court and uh, just looking at uh, these stocks you know there hasn't been any big move on these stocks basis these lines that have come by in fact all the stocks had seen a bit of a recovery after a bunch of large trades that took place in the morning some commentary coming in from Adani Green as well mm. with regards to his debt but uh, you know just basis these lines we haven't seen a significant Nothing. move on either side now, actually the stocks have come off uh, mm -hmm. Manglam from the top you know if you look at Adani enterprises was up 4% I think now it's up only around a percent or we'll have to wait by you know to understand from Ashmit what is the latest on that front but the brief lines are flashing for you on the screen. Pull up the intraday charts, actually, of all these stocks. Whether it's Ambuja Cements, whether it's uh, Adani Ports, uh, Adani Enterprises, all of them. Let's get the intraday charts up for you. They have all come off the top. So we're waiting by for further details. But these stocks had run up in anticipation of that verdict. For the time being, they've come off a little bit. Adani Enterprises, I think that's the big one in there that was up close to 4%. And so a big move in the run-up. Now, that's up only around a percent or uh, thereabouts. I think... Uh, what we'll do is, um, I, I think, we do we have Ashmit with us? 
All right. right. I think we'll just slip into a snappy break. Come back. We'll get to the latest on this front.